Hey there, I'm Jason, uh, founder of freecpipeadvice.com free forward slash forum and uh, the website freecpipeadvice.com. All right, gonna show you how to change the pressure of an AirSense 10 ResMed Auto Set. Actually, I'm not gonna show you how to change it. I hear that's illegal. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have my, uh, my buddy show you how to do it. All right, I'm Glenn. I'm gonna show you how to uh, change the pressure of this, <laughs> of the AirSense 10. Let's get down to it. Here we have our machine. And what we're gonna do is push down on the home button and the power button for three seconds. Okay, now you can see right here this icon it shows unlocked. So we are now in the clinical menu and you control everything in here with this dial. So we're gonna be pushing in on settings and you can go mode, auto set. You can switch it to CPAP if you want. We're not going to right now, so we'll cancel that. You can change the max pressure by selecting it and twisting. Selecting for min pressure and twisting. Now you can change your mask. Uh, do you have a full face mask, nasal or pillows? You can select that. Now uh, comfort settings, you have the ramp time, you can change the amount of time where the machine will ramp up if you choose to use the ramp setting. You also can change the starting pressure of the ramp. Now EPR is expiratory pressure relief, this is when you exhale. Um, it will dip the pressure and this is actually one centimeter of water pressure. Um, now you either enable this or disable it, but when it's enabled you have to exit the clinical menu and go into the comfort settings on just the user settings to actually set the number. But uh, we'll go ahead and keep it on. But word to the wise, just use this for about the first month, month or so, then turn it off. And it seems like it can cause central apneas, since when we turn it off, those tend to go away. So EPR type, you can have it only active during the ramp segment, which is actually kind of cool if you use a ramp, or you can have it uh, on full time throughout the study. Oh, I'm sorry, you can do it right here. I thought you could just do it in the other section. Anyway, you can, so, so this is one centimeter water pressure decrease. This is two centimeters of water pressure decrease. This is three centimeters of water pressure decrease. Now you have the humidity level of your uh, humidifier. It goes up pretty stinking high. Um, anyway, just start mid range three or four to get started if you're new to this and uh, adjust it from there. What kind of tubing standard or you do have the slimline heated tubing, whatever you have, uh, enter that so it enables everything. Um, antibacterial filter, do you have one in there, yes or no? I don't know why you need to put that in. Um, smart start is when you put the mask on and just start breathing, it'll turn on automatically. Um, that's on, you can turn it off if you want. Mask reminders, stuff like that. Um, English, you can check, select your language, you can select the date, the time, you can have it in uh, centimeters water pressure, or as everyone's favorite, the old HPA, good old HPA. Yes, yes, yes. You can have this selected for Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, this is also where you can erase the data from the data card. All right, thanks for that, Glenn. I appreciate that. Um, so in all seriousness, don't just be changing your pressure willy-nilly. Um, it's not advisable. If you have too little, like, you know, maybe you think the pressure is too high for you. If you turn the pressure down, it's very likely um, that you won't be getting the right amount of pressure. So it's kind of like a moot point in even using it. If you don't have enough uh, pressure in the upper airway, your airway's gonna collapse, you're still gonna wake up. Um, flip side of that, if you feel like you're not getting enough air and you just turn it up just cause, uh, if you have too much air pressure, it throws off your CO2 balance and so you could start having central apneas, also not good. So you really do need to have some data behind it. So if you're using this machine, uh, a program called Sleepyhead is available. You can look at the data there and actually see what seems to work. You can see if your current pressure is not working. Um, you can see what actually is working if you do make some subtle changes. Again, I wanna reiterate, please, please try going through your doctor first. Try going through conventional channels first. Um, your doctor knows your entire medical history. Um, if you are going to be making changes, fess it up to your doctor. Say, hey, I can't wait that long. I'm going to make some changes. Just let them know. Keep them in the loop. Um, if it's completely unadvisable, they will let you know. Um, it's very important to keep 
you know, keep in contact with your healthcare provider. I know a lot of you have really bad experiences with them. I understand that, but you got to at least try. Um, it's just the smart thing to do. This is your health. And granted, it is just air pressure, but just air pressure can actually can cause some problems. Um, anyway, I'm happy to answer your questions at freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum. And hopefully that helped. Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. And if you're feeling frisky, if we just saved you a copay, maybe click on our donate button and uh, throw us a couple, couple quarters or something. Thanks. Bye.